John Champion, alongside me in the commentary box is Jim Beglin and we're at El Monumental. Hi John, hi everyone, I'm really looking forward to this match. The players are almost ready to come out onto the pitch. Let's take a look then at the two teams. Amazing stadium, El Monumental here in Buenos Aires, home to one of Argentina's biggest football teams, River Plate. And not surprisingly, it's considered to be Argentina's national stadium. Away we go then. Block tackle. He's open. Malcolm. Wins the ball. Finds a teammate with a chip through. Wide and by some distance. He rushed that clean through one on one. He won't be happy. Through. And there's the opening goal of the game, and the deadlock broken, they're off to a flyer. And it's one of the basics of the game, never take your eye off the ball, and he did not for a moment. He timed his run brilliantly, eluded the defence, what a finish to boot, wonderful. Quarter of an hour played. They're trying to orchestrate something. Here's a chance. In for the rebound. It's clear. Chance. This looks promising. Can he pick out a colleague? There's the equaliser, and one has to say it's been coming. Oh, I just thought he managed to get hold of that header really well and directed home. Could have lost it there. Half an hour played here. They're building the play. It's a corner. Concentrate! Knocks it to the near post. Free kick given. And there'll be a yellow card for the foul too. Referee had a good view of it. Gives it back. Now into the penalty area. Chance to counter attack here. Go on, go on. And the danger recedes for now. Go on, go on. They shepherd it 
Lovely ball through. Well, it was a tricky shot, but the keeper handled it well. And there's the end to the first 45. I think they've shown some fantastic grit just not to allow the opposition to take control of the match. You know, after going behind 1-1, I think it'll please them. What a piece is how it stands. Setting up an interesting second half, I think. So the second half gets underway. And the two This time lunge and the free kick's given. And that is a yellow card. I think he knew it was coming too as soon as he went in for the tackle. Put him under pressure now, you just can't go around diving in for challenges like that. Goalkeeper's been very careful in lining them up. Goal kick. Returns the ball. Looking for the incisive pass. Completely. Take away a free kick. Yep, referee's gone to his pocket. It's a yellow for a fairly careless challenge he didn't really have to make. Could have been another colour too. Certainly some sections of the crowd think red would have been more appropriate. So, and he goes for it. Over the bar. Must be more accurate than that. Well, he's missed that chance. He's usually much better from there. Hits an ambitious ball over the top. The attempt at the through pass. Right. Looks like a sub's about to come on. Control it. Control it. Oh, referee's blown for a foul. Seems harsh. The manager intent on introducing fresh legs. to be having a go at goal and the offside flag is up we've got players warming up on the touchline Good pass through. Puts it backwards. Well, the defence is holding firm. They're giving them little chance to get into the box. They've got two in the middle. Watch now it, wins it. possession. No way through. Reach the last 15 minutes of the game. Oh, and he'll be disappointed with that. He's been flagged offside. Well, there's no doubt on that occasion he's absolutely offside. <laughs> Dogged play. Wins the ball. Good opportunity for a cross here. Goalkeeper's ball. Oh, no so both sides acutely aware that one mistake could lose them this game. They need a bit more urgency in their play. Time is ticking away.
Now, get possession here. Good individual effort, but needs to pass it now. That is offside. Just when they had a chance to take the lead, or so they thought. He's just drifted beyond the last defender. The game ends all square. No winner. So now we must go into extra time, and it really is anyone's guess, you know, as to who can come up with a winner here. It is genuinely that tight. Well, for me, this has been real footballing drama. Both sides getting stuck into each other. I think you could feel the spirit in both camps working flat out until the final whistle. It's good stuff. The whistle goes for the start of the first period of extra time. And for the players, it becomes a physical challenge now. He did well to gain possession, but he could lose it. The defender does well under pressure there, knocking it out for a corner. Drifts one in, and that's a wonderful save. It's a throw in. Calmly done, back it goes. The ball's gone out again, and that's another throw. The defence was like a brick wall there, there was nothing else on for him. It's proving impossible to separate these teams, all square, midway through extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. We're off, only a quarter of an hour remaining, and it all comes down to determination and to grit, and to who wants the win more. Well, we've seen goals on both sides, and although we don't have a winner yet, the match has been fairly entertaining. There should still be plenty of chances in the remaining 15 minutes. Let's see which team gets the chance of a breakthrough. Building it up. The referee points to the spot, a penalty kick, and I'd go along with that, he didn't get anywhere near the ball. It's hard to say who has the mental advantage here, the keeper doing his best to read which way he'll go. Almost a formality. You could feel the tension as he stepped up to take that, but it didn't bother him, and he took it away perfectly. There's his brace, he really has been razor sharp. The whistle goes, and yes it is the final whistle at long last, after 120 minutes of football. The loss never feels good, but I think they can still be proud of their performance. They play